Bruce Shushu character gets uh, a decision win over uh, Jose Argel, which was proven to be, I believe, Shushu's toughest fight to date. He's still a prospect. He's at, I think, six wins now. Uh, the dude is a special dude, man. Shout out to Brooklyn for building another one. Another solid fighter from the BK Borough. Gets no better than that, man. Uh, during the whole fight, man, he was dealing with a, a, a pressure fighter, a come forward dude, kind of like a cagey fighter, almost like a like a cheap Isak Cruz almost type dude. <laughs> but uh, Shushu, he shows a lot of uh, skills, man. He this fight had to happen, man. Uh, he faced adversity in this fight because I believe in the fourth round he ended up fucking his hand up. I don't know if he broke it or he he did something he did something to it because he was not throwing that hand. The rest of that round and then the fifth round, he was very hesitant on throwing that right, but he didn't need it because he straight uh, just did his fucking thing. I would say obliterated dude, but he. He went in there and he schooled it with one hand with the left, the left jab. He did throw a, he threw his right a little bit, but it wasn't with full power. So clearly something was wrong with his head. Something happened to it. I'm not sure we'll find out, but he did his fucking thing. He went there, kind of like similar to Tank, when Tank was fighting Isak Cruz. He went there and beat Isak with one hand. And that's the same thing Shushu did towards the end of his fight. Good to see that early on in a fighter's career where they face something like that and how they handle it and they don't buckle under pressure. He went in there and he did his fucking thing. It looks like uh, Bruce character is probably going to have a, one of the best jabs in boxing because his jab is developing, man. If you, It's a thing of beauty to watch it. It's developing. So y'all watch out for his jab, bro. I think he going to be right under Devin Haney with his jab, bro. I think Shushu is going to be right up there with the jab. He's going to be one of the top five best jabbers in the sport. Um, I like how he handled himself. Composed. He didn't get sloppy. He didn't lose his cool. And then I think it was like the fourth round too. Third or the fourth. The kid, uh, Jose Argel, hit right after the right after the break. So he caught it, landed a good shot on Shushu. And when the bell went, when they started fighting again, you know, he started getting his ass whooped, dude. Really, he was pouring it on to do a little bit. But I like Bruce Carrington because he doesn't rush his fight. And he he's pace, he paces himself well. Man, this it was it was just beautiful to watch him school that dude for those last two rounds. Whooped him. So what's next for Bruce Carrington, man? I don't know. We will see what's the next fight, but he's stepping it up in competition. Uh, all these prospects, uh, they're getting pretty decent work lately, man. You know, Keyshaw Davis, Shoo Shoo. You know, so congratulations to my man Bruce Carrington for the win. You're looking bright out there, kid. Keep it up. And it's your boy, Rebel Life Boxing. Catch y'all later on the next one. And I'm out.